TGIF everyone, it is a quick afternoon update on this uh, Friday. It's turned out to be a pretty nice day. It's chilly out there, but uh, you'll need the shades in most of the area. Let's talk about the Storm Tracker 21 weather app, which today, uh, we just found out, is now available in the Apple App Store. So this has been available for Android users for a couple of days, but now if you have an iPhone, an iPad, go download the 21 Storm Tracker app. It's a great app, uh, human-generated forecasts, uh, the interactive radar on there, you can plot up lightning, wind speeds, temperatures, all that good stuff. Uh, link to my weather blog, you can get alerts on there from the National Weather Service when watches and warnings are issued. Uh, you can uh, see school closings and delays on, on the uh, weather app. In addition, of course, our seven-day forecast and the hourly breakdown of the uh, forecast as well. 21 Storm Tracker in the Apple App Store and the Android Google Play Store. Well, in the meantime, uh, again, bundle up. It's chilly, but uh, we have a partly sunny sky this afternoon in Niles, Columbia, also looking tranquil. A little bit of a breeze, but not too bad out there today. Temperature is struggling a bit. We're pretty close to where we should be here on the 5th day of February. 33 share in Boardman and 36 in Salem and a chilly 31 in Mercer. Look across the country and there is some milder air and some of this is going to make inroads as we go into the weekend. We're talking about uh, temperatures a little closer to 40 as we kick off the weekend and perhaps even a little bit warmer on Sunday, but then here comes the cold again for next week. So we'll talk all about that this evening on 21 News at 6, and also on Weather for Weather Geeks, my daily in-depth weather video that takes a long look at the short term, the medium range, also the longer range forecast, and that'll include some uh, more speculation on the uh, tail end of February and what the first part of spring may bring. That's on Weather Geeks this evening, and in the meantime, have a great rest of this Friday and a great weekend, everyone.